Peace and blessings family, Sir William. Hey, back with a video. This is a little different. I know y'all seen the caption. You know, hey, are we serpents food? <laughs> For real? Scripture's gonna let us know. All right, you know, um, sometimes when you hop up in the scriptures, you can be reading, you know, um, different chapters, different books, and you know, stuff would just you just read through it and, and it don't really hit your spirit like that. And then certain things hit your spirit, but if you, you know, a month later or something like that, or different situations we go through in life, and we open up and we go through that same book or that same, you know, verse, it'll hit different. Like, dang, all right, that's deep, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll hit hard, you know, so. The reason why I'm saying that because I went to Genesis, you know, sometimes I like to just go back in Genesis at the beginning and, you know, see all the creation, how it started from the beginning. And that, I mean, it gives you a lot of, a lot of uh, insight on everything, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just from starting at the beginning, you got to know where you came from, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, y'all know the title, you know, hey, are we serpents food? <laughs> Here we go. So, you know, um, in Genesis, you know, the Most High created everything, you know, rested on the seventh day. He also, you know, created Adam and Eve from Adam's rib. All right. And you know that they uh, didn't listen. They weren't supposed to mess with that forbidden tree. You know what I'm saying? But Eve got tempted by the, by the serpent, you know, and then um, she did it. And she made, you know, she got Adam to do it as well. And man. The Most High cursed the serpent, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, Adam and Eve, you know what I'm saying? They, they couldn't, they got kicked out, you know? But the reason why I'm saying all this is I'm about to break this down and show you how how and how we are the food of, uh, of the serpent, you know what I'm saying, for real. And the Most High made it that way, though, you know? But Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, all right? And this is when the Most High, uh, you know, created Adam. You know created it created us you know so and the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground and breatheth into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul all right in this genesis chapter 3 verse 14 all right and the lord god said unto the serpent because he temp he, he tempted eve and you know he messed them all up because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go, and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. Alright? Dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. You know how did uh, Mosai create Adam? From the dust, right? And in Genesis chapter 3, Verse 19 says, um, and he's talking to Adam and Eve, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for thus thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. Alright, so that breaks it down right there too, lets you know, hey, created from the dust, <laughs> You know, dust you are, and then unto dust shall you return. All right? And who eats the dust and ain't going to be eating it all their life? The serpent, right? And then right here, this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. And it says, you know, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour <laughs> that's deep that's deep <laughs> you know so when that stood out to me i was like man definitely most definitely we have to make sure we stay right you know what i'm saying make sure we stay covered um because hey like i said he's walking about seeking who he may devour and hey you don't want to uh, be caught slipping, right? So, hey, right now, if you, you know, everybody in battle right now, we all in this one battlefield together, and we all fighting, you know? It's one body, but we all fighting, 
you know and we just have to stay focused on the goal we have to stay focused on Christ stay focused on the most high you know making sure we loving our neighbor like ourself but you got to love yourself <laughs> before you can be able to love your neighbor and you got to be able to love your neighbor before you can really say you love the most high with all your mind heart and soul and everything you got all right so that's it. I'm going to be praying for y'all, you know, hopefully y'all praying for me. Like I said, iron shopping iron. Let's continue to shop in each other. We win and we going to make it. Let's continue to stay armored up, you know, and continue to stay covered, you know what I'm saying, in that blood. And, hey, you don't want to, uh, <laughs> you don't want to be, uh, the serpent's food. And then also you don't want to sell your soul or lose your soul to the serpent because that's just, extra dessert for them, you know what I'm saying, you know, nah, we want the kingdom, you know, and we want to make sure we doing what we got to do on a regular basis to uplift who we can when we can, help out who we can when we can, because, hey, in this battlefield, it's hard, but when we all come together and we all, you know, fighting, <laughs> the enemy can't win, you know what I'm saying, we got each other's back, so that lion can keep on moving and prowling back and forth but it won't be able to touch us, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, y'all have a blessed one, y'all. This is Sir William, you know what I'm saying? Love y'all, peace and blessings, y'all. And hey, don't become the serpent's food. No, shh.